Work is fun and never hard In the realm of King Gerard Every day's a holiday Keep it up and show and play Life is happy, never sad Life is good and never bad Work is fun and never hard In the realm of King Gerard I hate the singing of those happy peasants Life may be a bowl of cherries for them but for me, it's the pits. All because of that simple, good-hearted nephew of mine, King Gerard. Mm, yes, Master Leopold, but as Prime Minister, you... Uh... Can do nothing! King Gerard refuses to let me raise taxes, rents, duties. It just isn't fair! Uh, I know what you mean, sire. Oh, oh, what a glorious day to wake up to. Don't you agree, Clockwork Smurf? Oh, ever since Handy Smurf made you, I've had the best friend a king could ask for. <coughs> Let's see. Maybe I should wear blue today. What do you think? <coughs> yes, I know it's your favorite color. Mrs. Sourberry, I want some more eggs. Oh, I'm sorry, sire, but you used up all your royal allotment. King Gerard says the palace must share equally with the people. He does, does he? Well, I'm the Prime Minister, and I want more eggs, even if I... Why, good morning, Your Majesty. Good morning, Uncle Leopold. Have you had breakfast? Yes, Your Majesty. Breakfast is served, Your Majesty. Fresh eggs. Oh, thank you, Mrs. Sowerberry. And for me darling clockwork smurf, a big bowl of his very own favorite, sardine oil. <laughs> Must your adorable little doll eat with us every day? Oh, yes, Uncle. Clockwork Smurf is my best friend. Besides you, of course. And like you, he's also invaluable as an advisor. Which reminds me, Uncle, I'd like your opinion of my new program to aid the poor. Do you know what that will cost? We could use the money to redecorate my rooms, uh, I mean, the palace. Or hire more soldiers to wage war on weaker kingdoms. What do you think of Uncle Leopold's ideas, Clockwork? Clockwork thinks it's more important to help the poor, and so do I. Sorry, Uncle, but the matter is settled. Bah! I shall never have the King's ear, so long as Clockwork Smurf has his heart. Long live the King! Long live the King! We love you, sire! Bless you, sire, for the food! Yeah. My good people, this Saturday shall mark my first anniversary as King. I'm having a big celebration, and you are all invited. A party? More money wasted on these lowly peasants. My nephew Gerard is much too nice to make a good tyrant. Nothing's gone right since that clockwork smurf's been around. That's it. It is. The only way I'll ever get Gerard to see things my way is to get rid of clockwork smurf. <laughs> Oh, come, little fishes, all pretty and wet. Come to Pee-wee and his big white net. Confounded, Pee-wee. You're driving the fish out of the water. They're easier to catch that way, sire. See? <laughs> Pee-wee, watch what you're doing. Me? You ruined my net. Easy, Pee-wee. Let his majesty fish in peace. All right, all right. I won't say another word. A bite! At last! Your Majesty, a carrier pigeon! Pee-wee, quiet! You promised! I've got it! Uh, I've got it! I've got it! Oh! Pee-wee! You made me lose that fish! And my fishing pole! Ah! Don't worry, sire! I've got them both! I really caught one, didn't I? I certainly did. It's addressed to Princess Sabina. Why don't you go deliver it, Pee-wee? The sooner, the better. You see how much you've accomplished today, Sabina, without those rascals Johan and Pee-wee to disturb you. Yes, Dame Barbara. Now it's time to work on our tapestry. A proper art for a proper princess. Of course, Dame Barbara. Unlike archery fencing and that other foolishness those two boys are always trying to get you involved in. Yes, Dame Barbara. Sabina! What was that? Oh, oh, probably nothing, Dame Barbara. You want to get Sabina's attention, Johan? 
Allow me. It better not be those scabs, Johan and... Peewee! Uh-oh, I got the wrong person's attention. Wait till I get my hands on you! Sorry to disturb your lessons, Princess, but we have a message for you. You'd best bring it up here. Dame Barbara is on her way down. Well, I'm in no hurry. Dame Barbara doesn't scare me. When I find that Peewee, what I do to him will not be proper! It's from my cousin, King Gerard. He's having a big celebration, and I'm invited. Where is that little pest? <laughs> Accidents do happen. Of course, you and Pee-wee will accompany me to Gerard's castle. Wonderful. Did you hear that, Pee-wee? Pee-wee? Johan! Goodbye! Have a safe journey! Say hello to King Gerard for me. Give you my best! Right! Your best! <laughs> Remember, driver, we must proceed at a stately, dignified pace. Dignified pace? Then we'll never get there for dinner. But, Pee-wee, you just ate. I know. That's what reminded me. Yeah, big kid! Yeah! Move along, little horses. Please pick up your feet. The sooner we get there, the sooner we eat. How's that for a dignified pace, Dame Barbara? Oh, you little... <laughs> Sabina, a proper princess does not enjoy wild ride. Yes, Dame Barbara. <sighs> Another peaceful night in our peaceful kingdom. I think I'll leave the window open. I'm glad you like the fresh air too, Clockwork. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Another disgustingly peaceful night, thanks to that goody-goody nephew of mine. But if a little accident should happen to his little doll... I have a list of accidents right here, sire. Good. Very good. <laughs> I've made a list of things we'll need for your celebration, Your Majesty. Oh, dear. I must have left it in my room. Don't bother, Uncle. Clockwork will get it. <laughs> Oh, get him! <laughs> Not me! Him! <laughs> What's going on here? Those are my slippers! You yes, sorry, sir, but I, uh, the dog uh, got away and, uh... <laughs> Come on, Clockwork. Playtime is over. Did you get the parchment? Yes, Orson. Playtime is over. Your Majesty, I think it's time we got rid of these silly flower gardens and added on a new dungeon. Hmm. I was thinking of tearing out the dungeon and planting more flower gardens. Why a dungeon? After all, we have no prisoners or enemies. <laughs> Clockwork. Are you all right? <laughs> I told you, sire, these old gardens are a hazard. We should tear them out. And I want music and dancing at my celebration. My people love that. Don't they, Clockwork? <laughs> See, Uncle? Very well. I will hire more musicians. <laughs> Clockwork! Oh, dear! <laughs> clockwork! Clockwork! Oh, no! Clockwork! Allow me, sire. Perhaps I can revive him. Whoops! Oh, so sorry. Forgive me. I'm afraid he's waterlogged, Your Majesty. Clockwork, speak to me! Speak to me! It's no use, Your Majesty. The poor little doll is... finished. Oh, my poor Clockwork Smurf! <laughs> oh, 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 it's so sad. I feel your loss as if it were my own. 
I, uh, I hate to bother you at such a sad time, my lord, but the people are waiting to hear you speak. Alas, I cannot face them now. Uncle, will you speak to them on my behalf? Don't worry, my lord. I will be honored to appear in your place. Anything to help. Oh, thank you, Uncle. <laughs> oh, clockwork. There were so many things I wanted to ask you. Life will never be the same without you, my friend. My good people, as of today, all taxes shall be doubled. All free food for the poor abolished. And all wages decreased by 50%. Taxes doubled? How can this be? My family will surely starve. I, too, was surprised, good people. But these are the new laws of the land as decreed by your king, Gerard I. I am truly sorry. Oh, I love to sing and dance, and soon I'll get the chance to make the people laugh, to make the people cry. Just you wait and see. Do you mind? I'm singing. Easy, Pee Wee. That's a king's herald. Yes, I bring a message from King Gerard. The king has ordered all guests to return home at once. Then is the celebration called off? Yes, madam. Farewell. Huh. The nerve of that King Gerard. I say we press on. Don't listen to that impudent squire. A proper princess must obey a king's orders as a matter of... Move along, little horses, please pick up your feet. The sooner we get there, the sooner we will eat. Halt! No trespassers in the realm of King Gerard. Hey, do you know who we are? They don't know who we are. I am Princess Sabina. My party and I have an efficient invitation from my cousin, the King. Oh, uh, sorry, Your Highness. Uh, please forgive me. Uh, but didn't the Herald tell you? I'm telling you. Let us pass or else. Oh, sorry, madam. Open the gates. <laughs> I don't understand. Last time I was here, this kingdom was filled with love and laughter. Now it's filled with sadness and tears. I'm sorry you have traveled so far, Princess Sabina, but King Gerard's celebration has been canceled. Well, as far as I'm concerned, the party's still on. Me, 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 me. Oh, I love to sing and dance. Forgive Pee Wee, sire. He's tired from the long journey. And I'm sorry he has a long journey back. Uh, but I'm sure you'll find an inn along the way that... Sabina! So good to see you. Please come up. As I was saying, you must spend the night here. That's more like it. Uh, where's the kitchen? Uh, I'm afraid I did not catch your name, fair maiden. Oh, I am Dame Barbara, the royal governess. Ah, Barbara. What a lovely name. May I be so bold as to request the honor of your presence at dinner tonight? Well, I'm not sure that's proper on such short notice, but... <laughs> oh, I accept, kind sir. Oh, what will I wear? Sabina! Gerard, my dear, dear cousin. These are my friends, Johan and Peewee. We're here to find out why you canceled the party. Forgive me, but... You see, I've been in no mood to celebrate since my poor little clockwork Smurf had his accident. Without his advice and counsel, I've not been much of a king. Luckily, my uncle Leopold has been tending to matters of state on my behalf, putting them in a worse state. Oh, poor clockwork Smurf. Perhaps I can help. If my music cannot revive him, nothing can. Wake up and you shall hear the most beautiful voice of the year. Oh, is that singing I hear? <gasps> Dame Barbara. Barbara? Yes, tis I. I just dropped by to tell you, you will all have to manage without me tonight. I have a dinner engagement. I'm afraid singing won't help Clockwork Smurf, Pee-wee. His gears are all rusted. There seems to be no hope. There's always hope, Your Majesty. The only one who can fix Clockwork is the fellow who created him, Handy Smurf. 
But the Smurf village is so far away, I could never find it again. But we can. The Smurfs are our friends. And they love my singing. Let's go! <laughs> what a wonderful dinner. <laughs> I can't tell you what a nice change this is. You know, being a governess consumes all of my time, especially when, when you're trying to educate a princess to behave properly. <laughs> she is a fine young girl. What? The if they repair clockwork smurf, all will be ruined. Stay here and finish the dinner. Responsibility. Uh, don't you agree? No, I do. Uh, I most certainly do. You will follow the king. He must not arrive at his destination. Count on us! Ah! Hey, we should have found him by now. I am the headless horseman who prefers to ride a goat. Pee-wee! Pee-wee! A goblin! Run! Ah! <laughs> Forgive me for losing my head, Your Majesty. How did you know we'd be followed, Johan? I'll bet Kiwi's loot that your uncle sent them. No, those men were robbers, not palace guards. Besides, I trust my uncle Leopold. What do you think, Clockwork? Oh, I keep forgetting. Oh, Johan, poor cousin Gerard has no confidence in himself. And too much confidence in that sneaky uncle of his. We can't be far from the Smurf village now. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Hello, my friends. Johan! Kiwi! Princess Sabina, hello. Hello, Smurfette. King Gerard, what brings you to this Smurf of the woods? Sad news, I'm afraid. My poor clockwork Smurf has had an accident. He's... I was hoping Handy Smurf might... might do something. Your Majesty, I know Handy will be happy to help. Follow us. Clockwork Smurf! Handy, this poor broken doll needs the tender Smurfing care only you can give. I'll Smurf my best, Papa Smurf. Oh, it's worse than I thought. This will be a very delicate operation. Clockwork, old boy, let's hope I haven't lost my touch. Pliers. Gear, hammer, bolt, wrench. Oh, will it be all right, Andy? I don't know. If I can just rebuild these rusted parts. Nut, bolt, springs. Do you want large springs or small springs? Because I've got all kinds of springs and I'm not sure... <laughs> well, I wouldn't want to make a mistake. Now for the hard part. Repairing Clockwork's heart of gold. What are his chances, Handy? It's too early to tell, Papa Smurf. The heart needs to be buffed, polished, dried, and steamed. I'm afraid the operation may take some time, Your Majesty. Well, perhaps we should return to the castle, sire. Yes, we can await the results there. Your country should not be without its king. Whatever you think is best, Sabina. My poor cousin is just not himself without clockwork, Papa Smurf. Don't worry, Sabina. Handy is the best. Your Majesty! Uh, back so soon? Oh, hello, Uncle. Was everything all right in my absence? Fine for me. Not so good for you. Take them! But, but, Uncle, I don't understand. I told you he was a scoundrel, Your Majesty. Well, if it isn't the Headless Horseman without his goat. <laughs> Can't you take a joke? I'll take you apart! Mama, mama! <laughs> Villainous scoundrels! Oh! A proper princess shouldn't use such language. <laughs> Don't worry, Pee-wee. There's always the window. Oh! Always the window, huh? Dame Barbara, you too. Oh, I should have known. <laughs> Johan, don't you have a plan? Offhand, Pee-wee. No. If only Clockwork Smurf were here, he'd know what to do. You're the king, Gerard. You must decide what to do on your own. Well, somebody better decide what to do. And fast. You can't let Leopold get away with this, Gerard. Think of your poor people. 
You're right. I am the king, and I will find a way out. There used to be a secret tunnel hidden behind our block in the wall. <gasps> It. Thanks to you, Your Majesty. And now I must rally my people and overthrow my traitorous Uncle Leopold. Twill not be easy, you little soft hearted fool. Uncle, I too knew about the dungeon's secret tunnel. Men, put these knaves in chains. We must fight for our freedom, Johan. I'm right beside you, King Gerard. Oh, Baba Smurf, won't King Gerard be happy to see Clockwork Smurf as good as new? I know he will. Wait, what's Smurfing down there? It's the king and our friends under attack! <laughs> Clockwork, come back! You need to rest! Clockwork! You're well again! <laughs> Say he's better than new. We'll see how a proper princess and her governess look in chains. Whoa! Whoa! Everything's going wrong. I must escape before going somewhere, Uncle Leopold. Your Majesty, <laughs> let's not do anything hasty. After all, I am your uncle. Gets them every time. Help! Whoa! <laughs> Thanks to you, my friends, I'm back on my throne. But more important, I've learned I can make decisions on my own. Oh. Clockwork knew it all along. Then I guess this means the celebration is on, Your Majesty. Me, 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 me. Oh, I love to sing and dance. Now I finally get the chance to make people laugh. Appreciate fine music. Don't despair, Pee Wee. I know some people who would love to hear you sing. I'll make everybody oh, laugh. Oh, oh, I'll please, make everybody please, cry. Stop. Now, this is what I call a captive audience. And when I reach the end, I'll sing my song again. Oh, oh I love no, to sing and dance. Again. If I'm Have given my half day. a chance, oh, I'll make the people laugh. I'll make the people cry. Just you wait and see. 